So thank you, Lord. We're going to praise you today. Who breaks the power of sin and darkness? Whose love is mighty and so much stronger? The King of glory, the King above all kings. Who shakes the whole earth with holy thunder? Who leaves us breathless in awe and wonder? The King of glory, the King above all kings. This is amazing grace. This is unfailing love. That you would take my place. That you would bear my cross. You would lay down your I sing for all that you've done for me. Who brings our chaos back into order? Who makes the orphan a son and daughter? The King of glory, the King above all kings. Who rules the nations with truth and justice? Shines like the sun in all of its brilliance. The King of glory, the King above all kings. This is amazing grace. This is unfailing love. That you would take my place. That you would bear my cross. of sing for all that you've done for me. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Worthy is the King who conquered the grave. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Worthy is the King that conquered the grave. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Worthy is the King who conquered the grave. Worthy is the King I will say. We cry, worthy, worthy. This is amazing grace. This is unfailing love. That you would take my place. That you would bear my cross. That you would Jesus, I sing for all that you've done for me. Let's sing, Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Worthy is the King who conquered the grave. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Worthy is the King who conquered the grave. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Worthy is the King who conquered the grave. Worthy is the Lamb of Bushe. We cry, worthy, worthy. This is amazing grace. This is unfailing love. That you would take my I sing for all that you've done for me. This is amazing grace. This is unfailing love. That you would take my place. That you would
Just a sensing for all that you've done for me. Thank you, Jesus. Let's praise him this morning. Let's live him up an offering. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's amazing, isn't it? When you think about what God gave for us, for God so loved the world, and he gave his only begotten son, and he sacrificed his life for us, that we can have the freedom. And who the son sets free is free indeed. Amen. Uh, we've been having a great time the last three weeks doing uh, the prayer. And uh, yesterday I got the uh, privilege of praying with, a, with uh, the churches at uh, Benora and Plain. And it was just such an amazing time um, and the presence of God. But uh, we really wanted to lift up the nation, our nation and the nation's but uh, what we prayed for was obviously the great south land of the Holy Spirit. And we're decreeing something over this nation, isn't that right? And I hope today that, you know, um, there'll be a lot of testimonies come out of the three weeks. I know some people have got some great testimonies um, that are theirs. And um, I know God has done some stuff in my heart too and shown me things. I just think it's positioning yourself to hear. And it's been great. So, um, you know, when I, we'll be doing this again, probably next year, <laughs> but uh, intermittent times just to seek his face and hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Amen. So I'm going to sing the great stuff. This is our nation. This is our land. This is our future. This is our home, a land of reaping, a land of harvest. This is our land, this is our home. This is the great south land of the Holy Spirit, land of red dust plains and summer. To the summer land, we will see a flood. To this great south land, his spirit come. This is our nation. This is our land. This land of plenty. This land of all the Precious harvest is in her people, we see revive, His Spirit comes. This is the great south land of the Holy Spirit, land of red dust plains and summer rains, to the summer see a flood to this grace of land the spirit comes this is our nation this is our land this blessed country of dreams gone dry and to these peoples we see a the great self land of the Holy Spirit, land of red dust plains and summer rains. To the summer land we will see a flood. To this great self land, His Spirit comes. 
Thank you, Jesus, we praise your Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for this nation. Jesus, the grace of love and the Holy Spirit. Jesus, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Let's thank him, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we just thank you for this nation. We thank you that we are blessed to be here. It's a blessed nation. Lord, we thank you that even in this season of COVID, Lord, that we are protected. Lord, that there has been less impact on this nation, Lord, because of your sovereign protection over it. Lord, but you said in your word, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and repent, then I will heal heal their land and that's what we're called to do in this time amen is to pray for this land lord we just pray for uh, the leaders of this nation that they become righteous leaders and make righteous decisions lord and we thank you lord that uh, in this time that you are pouring out your spirit on this nation and the nations we thank you heavenly father that we will hear what the spirit is saying to us and to the church and all god's people said Amen. It's funny, sort of when I choose songs, sometimes it's like a theme, but it's, I feel the Lord saying, but it's about His amazing grace. Your love is amazing. Oh, your grace is beautiful to me. Let's sing that your love is amazing. Your love is amazing. Oh, your grace is beautiful to me. Your love is eternal. Oh, it brings me to Amazing love, amazing grace, not can 
endure forever. Lord, you're a God of hope, a God of light, a God of love, and nothing can separate us from that. God, you've called us, you called us deeper, deeper in your presence, Lord. Deep cross out to deep, deep cross out to deep, deeper, deep cross out to deep, cross out to deep. Calling you deeper in my presence is long. Calling to you a place of hope, a place of peace. I'm calling you, calling you, calling you in into my innermost calling. You know, just just reminded that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and his plan and destiny for your life is for good and to offer hope and a future never has it been for evil says the Lord oh and even in this time of COVID where there's so much fear the Lord said I did not give you a spirit of fear but of power and of love and a sound mind and I am there always constantly taking you, leading you, guiding you, if you would just listen and hear my voice, because I do not ever leave you nor forsake you. I am always there. I am the loving Father. I am the friend that you always, always wish for. Never leave you nor forsake you, says the Lord. Lead you past the waters. Refresh your soul. I'm a good, good
worship you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Lord, we just thank you for your presence. We thank you, Lord, for your peace, ever-present peace. We thank you, Lord, that you surround us and you keep us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you haven't given us a spirit of fear, 
but of her power and of love and a sound mind. And in you we have our being, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. And most of all, Lord, you never leave us nor forsake us. We are your children. We are precious in your sight. We have been called by name. And even before the foundations of the earth, Lord, you had a plan for us and it was for good and not for evil that we should walk in it. Thank you, Jesus. Why don't we just offer him up one more love offering of thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hello, everyone. Hello. God thunders marvelously with his voice and his love, doesn't he? That's from Job 37.5. In that we have Jesus, yes, our Jesus. So much grace Jesus has. I could fill this page with describing him, his love, his holiness, his forgiveness. Jesus' choosing was to go ahead of the horror that men chose for him to suffer. he done that for man. That's for you and me. After three days he rose again. Many saw the resurrected Jesus. Now when we accept Jesus, our sins are forgiven. We have eternal life, healing, deliverance, grace and loving correction. Plus, plus, plus. His Holy Spirit is continuing Jesus' work, available of love to all of us. I'm going to tell you a little story, all to greatly honour, glorify Jesus and his holiness and thank Jesus in it. He's amazing. And all of this is the results of his resurrection and it's life-changing. We know Jesus is unique, it's awesome meaning in a Holy Spirit way of uniqueness. At the age of 44, I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Saviour. You know, the Father and Jesus were very happy. He's very happy when we say yes, isn't he? Not long afterwards, I kept having vision, vivid visions of a building and a driveway. They just wouldn't leave me. I eventually rang an old school friend, her, and told her about what was happening. She said, Jenny, they're not visions. They're memories in picture form. You have forgotten all about. OK, I'll take you to that place. And it was hours away. We went there. My friend said to me, at about 11 or 12 years old, we sneaked off to a visiting ministry in that town. And you, me, accepted Jesus as your Lord and Saviour. Wow. I had totally forgotten that day and Jesus because of circumstances for about 32 years. However, Jesus didn't forget me. All those years he carried me, held me, loved me, kept me sane and safe. He totally understood why I buried that day in my mind. You know, even today, I still marvel at mighty Jesus. He's awesome, isn't he? Yes, in his uniqueness, he still does things very different to what our thinking is at times, doesn't he? Growing up in my unsafe family, people's family said I was different. That was hard on me. Of course I was different. I had Jesus in me. His spirit dwelled in me like it does in you. Not in a very proud way or anything like that. Just with his grace and love and the peace that we have with knowing Jesus. One of the beautiful things we do here in church is to stand up here, look down and join our spirits with others as we celebrate Jesus and thank him, love him, honour him in his holiness 
And Psalms 36, 7 says, How wonderful is his loving kindness. Thank you, Jesus. So when we're ready, let's just take a moment and take an eat in our own time. And for me, I often imagine that I'm just sitting at the Last Supper with Jesus. But anyway, that's for me. <laughs> you can do whatever you wish. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your love, your holiness. We love you and we honour you.